the most famous reindeer of all. Just Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. I drank in my cup. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I'm drinking, but just know I got my drink in my cup. And it's good too, y'all. So Alright, we ready, we ready, we ready, we ready. It's hot. It's really, really hot, but yeah, y'all. I'm trying to be real comfortable. Like, I want it to look real cozy and comfortable. So, yeah, y'all, we don't have any decorations up. All we have is a tree with lights. We couldn't put any decorations on the tree because we attempted to and Tudor started pulling them down. So, yeah, y'all, we just got a Christmas tree up. No decorations, no ornaments, none of that stuff. So, yeah, y'all. Anyway, I'm Dial. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and consider joining our small YouTube family. And if you're returning, welcome back. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Period. If you haven't already, make sure you go over and check out my previous Vlogmas vlogs and then come back to this one so that you're all caught up. Yeah, y'all. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say that, but it was hard. So, like I said, I got my little drink, y'all. It ain't that much, but it's a little drink. That's all it is, is a little drink. So, I have put on Facebook and Instagram to send me questions related to christmas i didn't get a lot of questions but I, but i'm gonna just do the ones that i got so let me go to my notes y'all know i'm using my trap phone and this raggedy but so what so i'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up or should i just start from the top it makes sense to start from the top right i'm gonna start from the top i don't know why i want to start from the bottom I'm trying to trying to do too much that's all so are y'all ready for christmas like christmas is literally like around the corner like, if you ain't started Christmas shopping, baby, you need to get that ball rolling. Because Christmas is literally, like, around the corner. Almost about to be knocking on the door. By the time y'all see this video, Christmas will be about to knock on the door. So, somebody asks, favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is... It's between... Hold on, I gotta get the name of it, y'all. Is this Silent Night? Because I always get these two songs mixed up. And everybody be like, them two different songs. But I always like put them together. But I'm about to tell y'all what it is. So it's... See, I get This Christmas and Silent Night mixed up. I don't know why. It's two different songs. But This Christmas and Silent Night. Like, them is my favorite two um, Christmas songs. We're going to play one. Hold on. I'm not going to play it for a long time because I don't want to get copywritten, y'all. But this is this Christmas. This just puts you in that Christmas spirit. Like, oh my God, Christmas is coming up. And this song made me emotional. Like, why does this song make me emotional? It's just like, it's Christmas time. I got a son now. I got a wife. You know, it just be like, oh my God. Like, I'm just so thankful for what I have. Y'all know, do it get y'all emotional? Let me know in the comments down below. And then my other one is Silent Night. Like, them two. Them is my favorite. I can't pick between the two. Them is my all-time favorite. I'm going to play um, Silent Night just a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit of it, y'all. By The Temptations. Silent Night by The Temptations, y'all. I will tell y'all a random fact about me when it comes to The Temptations. But I y'all will hate me if I tell y'all. So, I ain't even going to tell y'all. It ain't nothing bad. I just didn't know who The Temptations was when I was younger. But anyway, let me play it for y'all. Ain't this by The Temptations, y'all? Ain't something nice by The Temptations? Yeah, this is y'all. This, if this don't put you in the spirit, I don't know what will. Can y'all hear it? Hey. This made me emotional too. Like Christmas music, Christmas music made me emotional, y'all. Back to the questions. Somebody asks, what are you buying yourself for Christmas? Mm, what am I buying myself for Christmas? Y'all, I don't never buy myself nothing. 
I should have bought myself a Christmas gift. Y'all know what I'm going to buy myself a Christmas gift. So I'm probably going to buy myself. I don't know, y'all. It's, it's hot, though, with this robe on. I ain't going to lie. I got this hot robe on. Then I got this Ugg fleece blanket over me. So I'm really hot, y'all. But it's cool. And this drink probably making it worse. But what am I buying myself for Christmas? I don't ever buy, my, buy myself nothing for Christmas ever. So this Christmas, I'm going to make it a priority to buy myself something so i'm gonna buy myself an ice maker i don't have an ice maker um actually been saying for the longest that her parents got us the ice maker but she never bring it when she come home so i'm not even gonna wait on her no more because she's been saying that for like the last over five months so i'm gonna buy my own ice maker y'all i'm gonna buy me an ice maker i'll probably go on amazon tomorrow and order one or probably go to target i don't know so y'all i'm gonna buy myself an ice, ice maker i didn't even think about what i'm buy myself for christmas like i never buy myself enough for christmas all right so somebody asks what is your favorite christmas movie and my favorite christmas movie is a friday after next y'all that movie is so funny and that's why i know that song silent night or is it see i'm getting confused what's this that's silent night that's how i know that song from friday after next if you know you know but comment down below and let me know have y'all ever seen friday after next i feel like everybody's seen that but that's my favorite christmas movie y'all Somebody broke in our apartment Look, this morning and stole all our stuff. That bullshit security. I sure hope they didn't get the rent money because you two been dodging me for about three weeks now. Me? Oh, yeah. Craig, tell your fine daddy I said, ah. I watch that year round. Like, it don't even have to be Christmas for me to watch it, but I love that movie. Uh, somebody said turkey or ham um mm, that's kind of hard because i really like turkey because it'd be dry and then ham is like i really like ham like that because i'm gonna go with ham though i'm gonna go with ham i'm gonna go with ham because turkey be dry um somebody said potatoes or coleslaw potatoes i don't eat coleslaw never been a coleslaw type of girl but ashley baby she eat coleslaw she be tearing that junk up y'all y'all like my cup one of my coworkers bought this for me years ago. I think I was working at Panera Fresh Dough Facility when my coworker bought me this, y'all. So that was over five years ago. My drink gone, as y'all can hear. Y'all probably like, girl, you slurping the bottom. And I am. All right, I know people don't like slurping sounds. My bad, y'all. It's a... Do you put your Christmas decorations up before or after Thanksgiving? me baby my christmas tree go up november 1st so at the halloween baby my christmas tree go right up the next day because i wanted to start something different like a different tradition in my household so last year i said every year november 1st i'm gonna put my tree up so last year i put the christmas tree up november november i can't even talk Last year, I put my Christmas tree up November 1st. This year, I put my Christmas tree up November 1st. And that's just going to be a tradition in our household. And then last year, I took my tree down December 26th. And Ashley's like, no, you're supposed to wait till after the new year. I'm going to put my tree up November 1st. And we're going to take it down December 26th. Because I just feel like I don't want to bring in the new year taking down Christmas decorations and christmas i don't want to bring in my year doing that christmas is over it's a new year i don't want to do that when we bring in the new year the house is going to be spotless clean no christmas tree no christmas decorations none of that but i know a lot of people who wait till after thanksgiving to put up their christmas decorations and a lot of people who wait until after the new year to take down the christmas decorations you can do what you want to do. Like, you can start your own family tradition. So, that's just a tradition that we're going to have in our household. I actually don't like when I take the tree down. But, it doesn't matter. Because, she's not going to be the one taking it down. I'm going to be the one taking it down. Like, last year, she was at work. Like, are you going to take the tree down today? It was, like, December 26th. And, I was like, yeah. She was like, okay, well, whatever. Sure, she really wanted to stay up until after the new year. But, I'm going to be the one taking it down anyway. So, it's really up to me when I want to take it down. And, I'm going to take it down the day after Christmas. Because... I like to bring in a new year in a clean house. I don't want to see no Christmas decor. I don't want to see none of that, y'all. But yeah, that's just me. Um, 
But I do take what Ashley say into consideration. But if I'm the one taking it down, then I'm going to take it down when I want to take it down. If she was the one taking it down, if I knew 100% for a fact she was going to take it down, like on January 1st or January 2nd, then I'll leave it up. Ashley not going to take that tree down. Just like she ain't going to put it up, y'all. I know my wife. Uh, somebody asks, star or angel on top of your tree? That's a good one because... Hmm. Well, growing up, we always had an angel on top of the tree. I never really did Christmas trees like that. I always bought like a small tree and I would always put a star on the top. But last year, we had the Mickey Mouse theme. I'll insert a picture, I'll insert a picture right here so y'all can see. And I put Mickey at the top. So whatever our theme is, we don't have a theme this year because we couldn't do it because tutors would pull everything off the tree. But whatever the theme is, I'm going to put that at the top of the tree. But if I had to pick between um, a star or an angel, I would say star. Because I've never put an angel on top of my own tree. Growing up, my mom put angels on top of her tree every year. But I have yet to put an angel on top of my tree, y'all. So I go with star. But angels, angels are always cool, y'all. I have nothing against the angel on top of the tree. Trust. Somebody said, do you prefer giving gift? giving gifts or receiving gifts that's a good one i prefer giving gifts i've always been a giver like as long as i can remember i like giving gifts i just like making people smile and making people happy i really don't care to get gifts and honestly if we're being honest a lot of gifts that i do get i re-gift them to other people i don't know why like if it's if it's something that i know like i'm not going to use I just give it to somebody else and tell them like Merry Christmas or I, or I'll save it to like their birthdays or something. And I just re-gift. It's very rare that I keep, of course, if Ashley buy me something, I never, anything Ashley buy me, I never re-gift ever. I'd rather give than receive. But I am thankful for anything that I get. But some stuff I know I'm not going to use while I let it go to waste. I just re-gift it to somebody else. Uh, somebody said, what does Christmas smell like to you? Hey, y'all was coming through with the questions because that's something good. This is a good question. I never really thought about what does Christmas smell like to me. If I had to give Christmas a smell, I would say, mm, golly, that's a good one. I say like cinnamon, like, mm, like cinnamon and like, Oh my god, I don't know. Like, what does Christmas smell like? Like, I know what, what I'm trying to say, but I can't. Kind of like cinnamon and then. Because, like, that spice, like that gingerbread type smell, like a little spice. So, like, of course, cinnamon and then ginger, probably. Ginger, do ginger smell like spice? Yeah, I know ginger is spicy, but do it smell like spice? So, I say, if y'all ever smell like a gingerbread or like a ginger cookie, that's how Christmas smelled to me, like gingerbread houses and gingerbread cookies and like gingerbread. So that's what Christmas smelled like to me. That was a good one. Shout out to whoever asked that. Somebody asked, have you made a gingerbread house? So crazy. I just said something about a gingerbread house and they asked me that. But no, I have not yet made a gingerbread house this year or, or last year I didn't make one. The last time I made a gingerbread house was when my little brother was like, eight or nine he was real young me my mom my sister my little brother we had did it all together as a family y'all and that was years ago um somebody said sweets or chocolate i am more of a sweet person i'm not really big on chocolate like that but i love reese's but i'm not big on sweets either but i'll take sweets over chocolate I said one thing you really want for christmas this year i haven't really thought about what i really want for christmas because i'm not I don't expect to get stuff, so I don't know. Like, if I really wanted something, I would say a vacuum. A vacuum cleaner, because y'all know I'm old school. I still got the vacuum with the bags, y'all. Old school, okay? Like, I still be around here changing vacuum bags. So, a vacuum cleaner, the one where you got to, like, empty it out as you clean, you know? Um, And this is the last one, y'all. Like I said, I ain't get a lot, but it's cool, y'all. Somebody said... Hot chocolate or eggnog. Like I said, I'm not really big on chocolate. So, give me some eggnog. Put a little liquor in there. Just a little bit. Put, let me start out. 
I'm not really big on chocolate, like I said before. So I'm gonna go with eggnog, put a little Hennessy or a little Douce, a little whipped cream, and baby, give me that eggnog. Honestly, I only had eggnog one time. Like I tasted it, and it's not bad. Like I'll drink it, but I've never had eggnog like sitting there just drinking it. Like I tasted it before and that was it. So I'm probably gonna do like an eggnog drink. Let me know down below if we should make like an eggnog drink together and we like sip and you know, have a good time. I'm thinking about going live. Let me know in the comments if y'all think I should go live. So yeah, y'all, like I said, I didn't get a lot. But I just wanted to answer the ones I did get. If y'all made it this far into the video, give me a big old thumbs up. Your girl is sweating bullets. I'm ready to take this robe off. Um, Yeah, if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all check out my previous Vlogmas vlogs. So y'all can be caught up. Period. As y'all know, your girl is doing Vlogmas. I'm posting a video Monday through Friday at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Period. And as always. Bad bitches in the back. Bring them to the front. Period. I see my next video. Peace.